Good afternoon and welcome to Outdoors with John. We're glad to have you along for a hike today. We're hiking the New England Trail, also known as the Metacomet Monadnock Trail. We're doing Section 5, which is located mostly within Holyoke, Massachusetts. We're starting on Route 202 on the south end and hiking north till we get to Route 141 on the north end. Should be about 4.9 miles according to the guidebook and there should be a couple of views along the way. Um, it's a chilly November afternoon, but not too bad. I think we'll be fine. Thanks a lot for coming along with us today. Hope you enjoy the hike. We're approximately eight tenths of a mile to the hike. We're coming to some of our first views across the valley. We're looking west along the trail. And that peak ahead is probably one we're going up. All right, we are about a mile into the hike, maybe even a little less than that. There's a valley in between us and that next peak. That's a notch. And in that notch is where a trolley used to run that went from Westfield, Massachusetts to Holyoke. And we'll cross that a little bit later in our hike, but I wanted to show you some decent views of the valley to the west here, as well as looking back south and some of the mountains we did in a previous hike when we did section four of the New England Trail. So we're a little over a mile into the hike and we are looking across the notch here on, on the ridge on the south side of the notch. And on the north side of the notch is that hillside in the back. And I believe we're going to do a little switch back here, down this way, switch back, and then come back up on the on this notch over here. All right, we've started the switch back. Now we're heading down into the notch. All right, so we've just started down the hill into the notch, and this is the best view we've had of the notch so far. We will end up on that hillside in the distance there. That's the but down here is where the notch is and where the trolley used to run. We're looking south here into the sun, and to our right would be Holyoke, and to our left, the sun would be Westfield, Mass. We've reached the floor of the notch. And you can see behind me is the Westfield section of the trolley bed. Looks like a cart road, but it was a trolley, uh, trolley that went through here that served Holyoke and the Westfield. And we're now looking towards Holyoke Community College uh, in this direction on the, on the trolley bed, which is north. The trail crosses here and heads straight across over there. And you'll notice that the, if you look in the maps, this is actually called the Trolley Trail on the All Trails app. And uh, it's identified in blue. I actually rode this with my mountain bike probably about six years ago. As we leave the trolley bed here, you can see we're going to be heading back up to the other side of the notch. Um, we're swinging around, it looks like. <laughs> Now reach the north side of the notch. We get a great view of where we were earlier. I think off in the distance we can see uh, probably the Seven Sisters or Mount Noatic. I think that notch that might be the notch up there. I think Mount Bear is the left center mountain. Then the notch. And then on the right would be Mount Noatic. So we're one and a half miles into the hike now and we're getting some payback. If you notice, we're on the north uh, side of the notch. Down below is where the trolley was, which we were just there. And across the way is the uh, south end of the notch. And the trolley went from right to left in the middle and actually did like a U-turn to go around the other side of this ridge and then took another you turn left to go out there to Holyoke College, which I believe you can see one of the larger buildings in Holyoke College over there. So off in the distance is the city of Holyoke beyond this ridge. And to our right is Westfield, which you really can't see. But we have a pretty commanding view of the valley that, that separates these two ridges. We have another view looking south towards Westfield Airport. I'm sure there's a little bit of sun in your eyes here. Continuing north along the ridge. 
we're a little over two miles into the hike. And we are coming to the high point of the hike, which is about 820, 25 feet in elevation. Over here is the Westfield Airport or Industrial Park. And we're coming around looking more northwest at this point. And probably through the trees there, not probably, definitely through the trees there is Mount Tom. So we're south of Mount Tom. I can recognize the mountain with the multiple uh, towers on top of it as Mount Tom. It's like we're hiking the pointy end of this ridge. We've got cliffs on either side of us. It's pretty interesting here. bird that is but it could be an owl or something it's huge I assume this might be a runway and landing light for when they ran military planes at the West Field Air Station they might have needed a longer warning this is abandoned you have to be careful not to hit the pipes over here but that bird was huge about 670 feet up on this great flat top ledge here with some tremendous views to the south here and also some views to the west and we're kind of on the south end of a, of a ridge here so maybe we'll get more views when we get to that part of the ridge over there so we might get some views to the north but right now we've got some great views to the west and to the south probably about 100, 100, probably have about 180 degrees worth of views here. And a great place to set up and have lunch, as you saw. It's been a great hike so far. Temperature is good. Um, we don't have a lot of daylight today, so I probably will have to keep moving. We'll grab a quick bite to eat and then carry on. Definitely, this section of the trail does not disappoint. It's quite scenic. Whoa. Okay, they meant it when they said sudden drop off. straight straight through a couple of tent platforms and a fire pit as we're getting close to civilization actually there's buildings over we're there about three and a half miles into the hike and we're passing by a shooting range so we have to be keep ourselves on the trail i don't hear any guns right now but we just crossed their access road to the shooting range that might have been something to do with the tent site probably private property For the first time, we're kind of walking in a swampy area. Um, there's a lake nearby, and we're in between the hills. I think this is Cherry something, Cherry Pond Wildlife Area. We'll have to look that up. Once again, the trail has taken us up. We're about 380 feet in elevation, and this is the last climb of the day. 
It's all downhill from here. We're over four miles into the hike. We're looking south at one of the one of the hills we just came over. To your left of the sun. And let's go ahead and wrap this up because the sun is setting and it's getting late. I haven't been filming much, but it's interesting is that we're kind of on a cart road now. We're uh, going across the fill here. And you can see that it's wide enough for carts, horse and buggies. I'm not sure. But uh, it's definitely a wider trail than it has been uh, throughout most of the hike. Okay, we've hiked a little over five miles and we're coming to the parking lot on Route 141. It's still daylight, but getting dark. And really, really excellent hike. I'm surprised at how scenic it was considering there were no named peaks or mountains on this stretch of the trail. I kind of didn't have very high expectations, but the views were really good. And I would definitely recommend coming out here and checking out this run. As you can see, ahead is Route 141. This is the original entrance to the reservoir. We have hiked through here before. Thanks again for coming with me today. Appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. <laughs>